this is Mike DeFriend with Everest Packer. Uh, we're here for another video on tech tips. Uh, actually, a new product that's just come out and uh, hopefully going to be helpful for you is going to be the Easy Start Pro Diagnostic Tool. Uh, this really doesn't replace Easy Scan in the case of warranty, but in the case of basic diagnostics, uh, all your new heaters that are can controlled. Uh, do have lockouts in them also. So things can lock your heater out that really isn't a heater problem and you need a tool to unlock it. That could be multiple overheats, multiple no starts, which could be from plugged intakes, plugged exhaust, gel fuel, low fuel tank. There's lots of things that could happen. So with that said, uh, this is a lot more cost effective than easy scan if you just want something quick and easy to get the diagnostics and clear a lockout. So we're going to start out with the connector is going to connect into the diagnostic plug on your harness. One thing I do want to mention before you go into doing full diagnostics on a heater is this is a canned circuit. With as any canned circuit, you should always check the resistance. So the easiest place on a Hydronic 3 is actually to take the cap off the diagnostic plug on the side of the the plug, there are four open ports. Take your meter across the blue red and the blue black. The blue with the red tracer and the blue with the black tracer is can high, can low, and you go across it and you should be pretty dang close to 60 ohms. I usually give it a tolerance of two ohms, so 58 to 62 ohms. If your resistance is way off, you can get some interesting codes out of this heater because corrupted information into an ECU gives you corrupted information out of the ECU. So that's usually where I try to start before I plug my diagnostic tool in. On an air heater, if you're gonna do that, my favorite place is actually unplugging the air heater from the harness and going across terminal one and three, which is blue, red, blue, black, and that's your can circuit on an air heater. But you do that on the harness side, not the heater side. Now let's take a look at the new Easy Start Pro Diagnostic Tool. At first you'll notice on the top, there is instructions on how to use it. So uh, please read your instructions carefully. The first time you plug it into the diagnostic port of the heater, it may ask you to initialize it. So when you plug it in, You notice you'll get this white ring, has a little bit of a blue hue to it, but this white ring and it's initializing. If you have an active code already when you first plug it in, you'll notice the red ring is flashing. But if I hit it, this one needs to be initialized. So it's nothing more than pushing the button until the Eberspacher emblem comes back up. Now you're ready to go. So once you see this, all you have to do is push the button. Now I refer to this as the main menu, the sub menu. Enter is pushing in on the dial. Turning is the dial and then the return button. So I will turn the dial until I see the gear. When I say the gear, I hit enter. That takes me from the main menu to the sub menu. The clock is now flashing. With the clock flashing, press and hold the return button. Hold the button until it says workshop language. Turn the dial two clicks clockwise. It will say error memory. Enter. It will say H1 coolant or H1 air if you have an air heater or a coolant heater. So. We're working on a water heater right now or a coolant heater. So I would hit enter. It says read. You want to read the codes. I'll say enter one more time. And there is your codes. As you turn the dial, if there's a history of codes, you would notice as you turn the dial, the codes will change. If you want to delete the code, while you're in the code, hit the return arrow, it goes back to read. Rotate the dial one click. It will say delete. Delete. The code is now cleared. You can now, if you want to check to see if that code is cleared, you can hit enter, read, 
enter, no errors. You can see the code is cleared. If you have an active code, something that is seeing is wrong at this time right now, it will actually not clear the code and it will come back up until you fix the component that the code is happening from. I hope this helps and this is a great new tool if you don't need full warranty diagnostics out of EasyScan. Have a great day.